still do some crazy things. So we'll see. Oh! It's all top. It's not a big Oh! Huge turn. It's finals time at the 2024 Maryland Coop Championship uh, from Haver to Grace, Maryland, Hopkins Farm Brewery, one of the staples on the Atlantic Coop Tour. Um, we've been coming here for, I don't know, five years, six years now, something like that. It's been a while, and they've always shown great hospitality. We got our finals today. I am Stu Gander. With me, Mr. Sven Heikes. Sven, what's shaking, baby? We're going to see if uh, Dan Cord can continue his uh, perfect run here in 2024, and that's some tasty beer. I know. Yeah, um, so good. You know, we got the uh, Cinderella run by Harvard and uh, whoever's in which is Protect This Program. I can't remember. Ryan. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan yes, Zimmerman. Uh, Cinderella run by them in the final. It's going to be a hopefully, hopefully it'll be a good one. Hopefully somebody can, can stand in Dan Cord's way here. And if, if anybody, maybe the jacked. Joe Harbor can do it. Old Jack Joe. <laughs> there he is. Standing in between Dan and perfection on the season of the four tournaments in. Um, here is how we, st- how we stand to right this moment. Silver bracket already complete. We're going to get some highlights from that third place match now, which is the Ice Coops playing in their second third place match ever. Facing off against the Glory Holtz, their first tournament on the AKT so far this year, and we've got oh, oh no, oh, no. suspension! Oh no, oh, no. Get this video. Get Rafa, this video off. Rafa, Cody and, and TJ both. Let's go to the finals. I don't care about that bad Dragon beer, number one seed, ten one and one game record. Looking to go back to back against signed up for cornhole. Sven, you said Cinderella, but they're the number two seed. I'll mm-hmm. watch anything if I don't have to watch that display we just saw in the third place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that's not called for. Look, you know we're we're not we don't feel sorry for you, Cody. You know you, you didn't win. Uh, you know. And uh, you don't have to be disgruntled about it. And freaking Roth, I don't know what he was doing. Censored on Tuesday night, Coob Sven. Uh, that really toasts my marshmallows. I tell you that. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know where we go from there. Yeah, up, up. I mean, that's where we go. You have the defending AKT champion. Just two classless maneuvers in a row. And then TJ joins it on it too. Can you believe that? <laughs> no. I'm shocked, Stu. Ridiculous. Ridiculous display. I mean, I hope Lewis wasn't watching that. Ugh. I Lewis really do. Poor Lewis. Sweet, sweet Lewis. Yeah. All right. All right. I got Cor- I got a I signed gotta- up for cornhole on the leg. All right, I got to take my blood pressure medicine, Sven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some you nitroglycerin to, to slow me yeah, down. Do, do, do some breathing exercises. Oh. Yeah. Whew. Probably have a yoga, you know, get together here at Hopkins Farm Brewery on Saturday morning sometime. They, they probably have goat yoga. Probably. With their own goats. They supply the goats. All right. Well, I call it a Cinderella run because, I mean, if, if you're talking to the pre-tournament experts uh i don't think anyone really had uh signed up for cornhole making this making it to the final so that's why i call it the only the only reason i would say it's not cinderella is because to me cinderella is like you're the eight seed and you make it to the finals or something Mm -hmm. i mean they're the number two seed so i know yeah Strangely. But there was a three-way tie for number two. It could have gone any number of ways. This whole bracket could have been completely different had just a few minor things fallen into place. So, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not taking anything away from them that they got the number two seed. That that's fantastic. But again, I don't think anyone would really even at the number two seed would have necessarily picked them to be playing in the last match of the day. Yeah. So tiebreakers for seeding. Of course, number one is your ranking based off of the number of points you got. Number two is your opponent's points. Sven, lay on me what's three, four, five, six, whatever. 
Well, number three would be your opponent's opponent score. That's deep. So all the opponents, your opponent scores of your opponents added up. Uh, still tied at that point, it would be head to head, which you really can't be tied, really, unless you tied that match. Okay, if you tied it, I guess you you could be continue to be tied. Um, at that point, I th- think we just go with a coin toss. No, it's a, oh. I think it's alphabetical order. Honestly. I was going to say. I think, say, I was, <laughs> I, I think it's down to the fifth tiebreaker. Is just alphabetical. Yeah, that makes sense. Because really, at that point, it's like, what else are you going to do? At this stage in the tournament, or after seven rounds, it it never gets to that. I can Have guarantee you. We talked you that. about this before, where some one of these tournaments we're going to have, you know, a a a a a a a one two three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, we've talked about that, okay. and uh, there's really no need to do that. <laughs> I mean, it it'll help you get a very very difficult matchup in round two if you win round one. Because you're going to be at the top of the leaderboard after round one, you're going to get the best, the next best team that happens to be alphabetical. <laughs> so, like in a one v one, you don't want to be named Bob when Adam Holtz is in the field because you're probably playing him in round two if you win, no. <laughs> which has happened. Those are some deep tiebreakers. Yes, they are. I think big I think opportunity. It's fair. Big opportunity here for Dan and Mike. They got five shots at it. Yeah, we've started about out a bit cold for mate, haven't we? Yes, I believe we have. One for seven now or something like that. Of course, heretic has got the wide brim hat on again. Yeah. Looks like he may have spilled something on him. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's using he's using one of those uh Wet cool, towels. Yeah. cool towels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. there you go. That's, That's a, a loaf. loaf right there. Woo! Like he's Spicy. standing by a Tesla coil or something. Spicy. Oh, oh it shook it. It hopped and it didn't go down. Did the and look at Joe hop. talking smack to him well, right now. He can. It. What's Dan yeah. going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, Three in yeah. play after a big turn from Crack and Beer. I think, you know, I mean, I think... The betting money is on crack and beer here. It's, yeah, I don't uh, think either of us are taking Joe. No offense to Joe and Ryan, but I, I would say if we're going to say who you're taking, we're both taking crack and beer here. Yeah, I agree. But I think there's very few teams that um, would be playing crack and beer in the country right now that I would take against them. But yeah. Agreed. Not that they're not beatable, but nobody has. Well, Nobody, nope. at least less this year. Nope. And that's all that really matters. Agree. That's why Cody's so upset. That's what it's all about. I tell you what, not though, last year. <laughs> if crack and beer, if crack oh. after Cody goes four for four last year, crack and beer wins this one. That means Dan Corey goes four for four with two tournaments left. That'd be bigger than uh, that'd be bigger than John Stanky and the coal miners, if you know what I'm saying. Mm, I do, I do. Oh mm. boy, oh boy, they are cracking cold. Yeah, they are. Oh, for the game so far, cracking beer now three in hand. We need to get cousin Dave over on their baseline to see if he can give him some advice to get out of this cold streak. You know, he's yeah. been there. He's been there before at this location. He's going to tell you to drink some local beer. Mm-hmm. That's his That's his recipe for everything. I don't know about you, but I think this could be over. I agree. I was kind of, you know, uh, I mean, you have to probably clear this in two, and then mm-hmm. uh, that gives you three. So, I mean, yeah, you got to go loaf or spend loaf. But, yeah, I mean, absolutely possible. I think he's got the group in two. It's just whether or not they can get that loaf or the turkey leg. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past either one of them. No, I think they're going to give it to Magic Mike. Mayo. There's the double. We're not going to split. 
see another loaf. All right. Now is Mike taking three? Yeah, yes. he's going to let him take him. Right, that's a smart move by Dan. Yeah. You just hit a loaf. You've just gone over three. You're over two. Play the hot hand. Yep. Oh, boy. We might be seeing the Horenja cop right here. Oh, I'd love a loaf to end it. No, oh, turkey, leg. turkey leg. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, just gives it the old shuck. No, shucks, no Horenja cop. But that was, you know, we Ooh. said they had to be good. They did it with one baton left. So that is a strong game and a strong finish. Very. Yeah, 1.3, 45%, 68, and Cornhole didn't hit anything. They had a great coups for Baton, which yeah. they're getting for, but they didn't hit anything for me. No, I mean, it's still at 49%, having gone over whatever at 8 meters is pretty impressive. Yeah. I think it's one of those situations where it's, you know, even if they would have hit one, the percentage would have been so low, it wouldn't have made all that much of a difference in, uh, in their cage score. No. And, uh, you know, I thought Crack and Beer just came out ice cold there. I mean, they, they only got up to, like, what, 49%, 43% yeah, or something? Yeah, and they He's hit the four 40s. in their last five. Yeah. Yep. So, man. My abacus says that's 80%, four mm-hmm. out of five. Oh, you're dead on. There we go. Took the lid off. Yeah. All right, Joe with two left. I think he's got three left. Nope, two left. You're right. Second, first turn. Yep. See, Sven, in Kube, you do what's <laughs> called a two, four, six start. Oh. Yeah. All right, this one would be big. Uh, ah! Yeah, I thought he was going to pull out that drink order and just break it over his head like Bo Jackson. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Except that's my drink holder. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, that's a Phil special, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh no! Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shoot! There it goes. That's throwing his drink on the ground. No, so I don't no. know what's going on the in the disgusting bowl back there. No, I They're don't still care. playing. That's disgusting. We can even see them. Yeah, disgusted and Ugh. disgusting. Ugh, oh, just... boy, talk about disgusting. <laughs> so disgusted. Oh no! Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> oh for three. Oh, all right. Shake it off. Yep, good idea there, Mayo. Four. Oh, <laughs> We're going to give him a line here, Stu. Oh, I got it. We I mean, go. I'm going to squirrel it, too. That would have been huge. <laughs> All right. Talk about a turn saver. Yeah. <laughs> Total turn saver. <laughs> the single. Wow. 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 That's, that's, not a, that's not a turn you expect to see in the championship, in game two of the championship. At, out of the leaders in the akt now yeah and uh, you and know you're giving the other team one field coop to not massive down. well and you got the squirrel king massive advantage here yeah um you know that's just it goes to show you ever i mean you wouldn't expect that i could see that maybe no. happening more more likely in game one with maybe a little nerves in your first turn but th- they've already won a game. I mean, now yeah. it should be pressure off. Let's go. Wow. Oh, that boy. was a great looking shot. Oof. Just missed. Boy, if they could pick up one or two more here, boy, this would be all but. Oh, there's another one. All right. Two in hand. They can go baseline clear. Oof. Be this nice, would be huge. Some, yep. Some sweet loaf. Nope. Yeah. Still a three coup lead. Um, yeah, yeah, that's not the kind of turn you really expect from you know anybody out here, but uh, yeah, wow, that's surprising. Mm hmm. Happens to the best of them, Sven. I could see Cody doing it. 
<laughs> and then crying about it afterwards. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think, I think, I don't care who you are. Everybody has had a turn like that. Oh, um, no doubt. It happens. And boy, it really, really tees you off when it does happen. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's a mental game, and uh, sometimes hitting that one single can be the hardest thing. But when you when you miss one, you just feel embarrassed. You might rush the second one, then you miss again, and you just feel like, oh god, what's happening? It starts to get in your head. Yeah, rails can come off quickly. Yep, that's the way this game works. The rails can, or the wheels, the rails off the well, rails. Well, the train I just can come off, off the rails, rails and wheels yes. falling off. You, but, you yeah. did, Stu. You did. Don't worry, we get a little break after this. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> get to go on vacation with the graphics department. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Cancun, baby. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, now we're going that single, was, single, thought single. That was a double. Where do you want to go? Yeah. I, th- I think the K-score might be coming down, Sven. Cancun? Cancun? Yeah. Where, where do I want to go? Wanna go? Where, we, where is, where is uh, Amateur Hour Productions going on vacation? I, you know where I would go? I would, I would just get a hut on the beach and just sit there. What beach? What beach though? One that has sand and ocean and actually one that might, that isn't like 8,000 degrees this time of year. Yeah. Because all the ones by me are uh, 8,000 degrees this type of, this uh, time of year. I do, I, I do not vote for anything on the east coast of the united states <laughs> no the other part of that is you know it's eight thousand degrees and you're sweating like a pig and then you're like you know what i'm just gonna go take a dip to cool off a bit the ocean isn't any cooler it's not gonna cool you off the ocean is like 85 <laughs> 80 it's like bath water so <laughs> I don't don't get me started about the ocean, Stu. You're not an ocean fan. No. You're not an ocean fan? I enjoy the ocean, but... Oh, okay. All right, then don't get me started. I don't don't want to ruin it for you. I have some issues. All right. All right, Joe Harbert, four in play. Still with a lead. I guess, did Kraken Beer hit one last time? Looks like it, maybe. Sometime. Yeah, we weren't paying attention. We were planning our vacation. Yeah. Oh, oh, it looks boy. like the losers back there finished up. Good. At least game one. I don't know if they're playing multiple. I wouldn't after that. No. Hit the road, clowns. We don't want you around here anymore. Did Joe just throw away three? I oh, no. So. I think we're... Oh, he didn't hit the back one. I think we're giving a line here. This could be a line city. How many are left? Two? Three. I think there's three. No, no, no. How many batons left? Yeah, two batons. They have to need a double somewhere. Yeah, boy, this isn't... Oh, no. Now you need a triple. And that ain't going to happen. Oh, Oh, boy. Still four base cubes left, but man. Sven, the rails have fallen off again. (laughs) The rails. We're off the wheels, dude. We're off the wheels. (laughs) Dan Corey Stella Furry. That's on. right. Wow. Some things, some things are always true. And that's, that's one of them. That's very true. All right. How about some good Coop fellas? Oh, this has been a rough game. Yeah. There goes that 2.0 bat- uh, Kuzer Baton score, you know? Yeah, no, that is long gone. I got trashed. I, I don't know if either one of these teams is at one right now. Hmm. I don't think so. This is a big double. Yeah, I was going to you... say you get this double. Oh, um, that could have been that could have been out. Yeah, it would have to be perfect. But yeah, from this distance, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. All right. Baseline clear is the. Best possibility. You got to think, though, if if we turn around and playing for cornhole, what's the team name? Cornhole. I'm just going to call. Signed it up for cornhole. Signed up for cornhole. 
If cornholes, <laughs> it's just that's fine. Just I'm cornholes. Done, <laughs> just you're on vacation. I'll take it from here. Yeah. I think they. I think they miss one. I was just gonna say if they come back their next turn and they have to drill eight, that's Dan, a that's a bit Dan's, of a slap. Dan stroking his tail. Yeah, combing it. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> that's what happens when you gotta stroke your tail. <laughs> All right. All right. Still seven in play now. Last time they threw these out, there were only four. Yeah, Mike, don't touch the coops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I forgot it wasn't Bob out there. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's only cool. one person who really cares. He's very territorial. Oh, boy. All right. Joe's been. Oh, oh no. I was That's... just getting ready to say Joe's been putting together some nice drills. Well, he has. Just that was a mistake. It happens. That would have been that would have been the announcer's curse if I would have gotten the whole thing out. I'm glad I didn't. Mm-hmm. Probably would have pummeled me. Yeah, I'm not sure we're on that level yet. Are we on that level where we can curse people? We're announcers. I mean, yeah. we got half of it. We have half um, of it, but I don't think the 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 karma of the sport cares what we say. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think anybody. Have you looked at our <laughs> views? I don't think anybody cares what we say. No, no, except Lars. I, we Lars did seems notice to care. We picked up. Uh, yeah, Lars. Thank you, Lars, our 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 viewer. Um, yes, <laughs> he had some very high praise for that one episode. I forget which one. <laughs> I don't remember either. The but. one, the first. I think the first one Joe is on in this series <laughs> where. <laughs> He thought it was one of the best ones he's ever seen. I was like, oh, you're, you're one of the only people, Lars. I really appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> well, other people might think it's the best one they've ever seen. They've just never seen it before. Or so. they've never, they won't finish it. <laughs> yeah. Another um, line, this is over. Yeah, this one is completely and utterly over. S- Sven, we might need to vamp for about 45 minutes. <laughs> so, they, so we're not putting up a 25-minute video. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we we have standards to uphold. Yeah, well, uh, do we? I don't. No, I, would, I wouldn't. We go really that. don't, but we do have a reputation, I guess, for long videos. Yeah. So I don't. Long form Kubis. Well, I mean, it, you know, when you're live, you're live. What are we gonna do? We can't yeah. hurry them. Along. We can't hurry them along. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, they don't they don't speed up the Super Bowl, do they? No. They don't. Exactly. And if anything, it's longer. That's right. Yeah, one of the criticisms I've heard about that, you know, I don't know that you could have Kube live because, you know, you know, you just don't know when it's going to end. Like, we don't know when any sport's going to end. That's the whole point. <laughs> if you know when it's going to end, why watch it? Of course, baseball <sighs> did start putting a person on second base in the 10th inning, which, mm-hmm. you know, to me is ridiculous. That um, is ridiculous. But, I agree. Yeah. But baseball is also endless. <laughs> so this is true. You're going to get to the 10th inning. They did put the pitch count on too, the, the timer to try to speed it up. I'm not sure that's really working though. The pitch, t- the pitch clock is on everything. Yeah. I'm just yeah. not sure that I'm not sure that is really working. I'm a big fan of it. Sven. No. Big okay. Fan of it. Yeah. So you're, it's like getting you started. I, I'm not, I'm not, it's not that I'm not a fan of it. I, I have not a huge opinion one way or the other. I'm not really sure that it's making a huge difference, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking, Stu. I could be, I'm probably right. completely wrong. That's fine. I, I think it. Don't I get me it. started about the beach, Stu. You know what? Don't get me started with, with overtimes though. Oh I no. Am, I am a huge fan of the three on three in hockey. I love it. Yes. Yeah. That's you know amazing. what is the worst thing in potentially all of sports is the shootout it's yes I agree. three on three is so awesome yeah, and then just you keep go doing this, that yeah and then you go or just end it in a tie yeah that's too, it's hockey true. i mean hockey when you go to the won't... shootout you get a point anyway yeah so basically i mean you, you earn a point now, here it comes again here here, what he, he wants to make up yeah Trying to give uh, us a hug. I'm not accepting your hugs. Oh, game over. Dan Corey stays perfect. Talk to the hands, <laughs> oh, here's All the trophy. Right. So Kraken Beer does it again, this time with a 33 on Ooh, the case. To 15. Which is an interesting number. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that wasn't the best match we've ever seen, but whatever. It's free. Hey, sometimes you got to win oh, ugly, man. That's right. You win however you can. Wins, Here's wins, our wins. Bracket. 
Here is our final silver bracket. Congratulations to Vector on their first place champion of the silver bracket. Oh, and there he is. Congratulations to Dan Corey. Take the trophy, the Dan. Take take it. Don't make this uncomfortable. 80. <laughs> 80, Sven. 80. Some big moves up this week are this tournament. The only move down, Drew Gander, on suspension. That's what happens. Loser. Your behavior. Um, Loser. <laughs> no kidding. Not much movement in the club standings either. But next time when Drew has to serve his second suspension in mm -hmm. PA, there's a good chance we're going to see some movement there. That's what happens. Be on your P mind your P's and Q's and you don't have these problems anymore, Sven. Yep, uh, 100%. And right, unfortunately, so I can see Cody getting another suspension for that one. Could be. It was ugly. Yeah, it was ugly. I apologize to both of our viewers for having to watch that. You can't make lewd and disgusting uh, gestures toward the camera. It's just, it's in the bylaws. Everybody knows it. It's not that hard. Sven, they say... The, you'll know obscenity when you see it. You know, they can't define yeah. it, but you know it when you... That was obscene. That totally was obscene. obscene. Soiled this whole tournament. But let's move on from that. Dan Corey clinches the AKT. Perfect. Yeah, four for four. Mike Karenchik's two for two. Both have perfection in their sights. This is... What, a, what an epic season. Yeah, so next they'll be teeing it up at PA August 17th. Um, they will be going for Dan will be going for his fifth win of the season, which is mm -hmm. ridiculous. Oh, Mike yeah. Arendt going for his third, and then they'll tee it up at the Blasters in October. Tickets for PA on sale right now. KeystoneCoop.com, AtlanticCoopTour.com, any other dot coms, Sven? Some expert pitch cleanup I'm, I'm seeing here. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. amazing. <laughs> Good. Good work. All right, Sven, any pearls of wisdom? Nope. Register for PA. Uh, KeystoneCube.com, AtlanticCoopTour.com. Great job, Maryland. Thanks to Hopkins Farm Brewery. Thanks to Old Line Coop. Thanks to Jack Joe Harbert. Uh, and perfection again. That's all I got to say. How about that? Sven, I think we're having an earthquake. Yep. All right. Until next time. <laughs> bazooka. Bazooka. Meow. Now you put a picture of Lewis up for about four and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs>